the Mediterranean. It took six million years to create these stunningly beautiful ecosystems. Thanks to dozens of endemic species, this small, almost enclosed sea is a true treasure, one of our planet's jewels. Cradle of the most advanced ancient civilizations, the Mediterranean harbors gorgeous islands, actual mountains emerging from its cerulean waters. Corsica is one of them. Yet, in this Mediterranean sea that you might believe preserved, a new island is beginning to take shape. There appears to be an outright plastic island off the Corsican coast. What are the facts? Does this plastic island truly exist? Why is this pollution affecting the Mediterranean so terribly? And why here in Corsica? Right here, in close proximity to the coastline, hundreds of thousands of pieces of plastic waste are afloat. Yet it's nothing like the image one pictures when thinking of that infamous plastic island that media talks about. The thing floating off the coast of Corsica looks nothing like an island. So does that plastic island truly exist? There is no plastic island, no plastic continent off the Corsican coast. But the reality is sadly far worse. The waters of the Mediterranean contain staggering amounts of minuscule plastic fragments called microplastic. Although they sound far less impressive than a plastic island rising up opposite Corsica, these fragments are out there in the billions. They add up to a mass of hundreds of thousands of tons, and the threat they represent is far greater and more insidious. The spread of plastic in the Mediterranean obeys the rules laid down by the sea currents. Adverse to Corsica, they seem to accumulate the waste generated in the entire Mediterranean basin right near the island's coastline. Plastic is everywhere, and Corsica isn't the only one affected by this phenomenon. Quite the opposite, this form of pollution is a global phenomenon that affects the entire Mediterranean. An estimated excess of 600,000 tons of plastic gets dumped into the Mediterranean every year, making this sea one of the most polluted in the world. At these depths of over 6,500 feet, just overlooking our coastlines, in areas so deep you might think they were shielded from all human pollution, lurk thousands of items of plastic waste. The plastic lying at the bottom of the sea has not been eroded down to a microplastic state, and the familiar lines and contours are easy to make out. Yogurt cups, disposable cups, plastic bottles. The latter of which constitute outright underwater garbage dumps. Turtles aren't the only animals to suffer due to pollution and the ingestion of plastic waste. Every year, Dozens of sea mammals die with their stomachs filled with plastic. Sperm whales, common rorquals, and dolphins all pay with their lives for our plastic use. The processing of thousands of tons of waste, the specter of the plastic island seems to rise back up. But rather than being a drawback, insularity could be an opportunity short consumption cycles, recycling networks, restrictions on the amount of plastic coming onto the island, alternative solutions to single-use plastic. They should all be the main goals of the island's environmental policies. Owing to its advantageous position at the heart of the Mediterranean, Corsica could fashion itself into an example for neighboring countries. <laughs>